Good afternoon. I'm Rick Mills, the acting U.S. Ambassador to Canada. I wanted to take just a moment to speak with my fellow American citizens here in Canada to provide updates on what is happening at the U.S. Mission to Canada during this current COVID-19 public health emergency. First and foremost, I want to assure you that the U.S. government and this mission has no higher priority than the protection of U.S. citizens. Our team here at the Embassy in Ottawa and across our seven consulates is working to help U.S. citizens in need of assistance. The most important action any American citizen can do right now, if you have not done so already, is to please enroll in the Department of State's Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, commonly called STEP. You can enroll at step.state.gov, step.state.gov, and this will allow my team to contact you with important updates as the situation continues to unfold. Second, I want to clarify a few questions we here at the mission have been receiving regarding the announcement by President Trump and Prime Minister Trudeau last week that the United States and Canada are jointly limiting land border crossings to only essential travel. Non-essential travel includes travel that is considered tourism or recreational in nature. Let me be clear to all of you, nothing in this announcement prevents U.S. citizens or U.S. permanent residents from returning home to the United States. Please continue to review CBP.gov for the latest information and updates from U.S. Customs and Border Protection. And let me add, if you are planning to return to the United States via a commercial air carrier, please stay in contact with your air carrier for their latest instructions. For U.S. citizens choosing to remain in Canada, it is of the utmost importance that all of us continue to follow directives established by federal and local Canadian authorities. As good neighbors to our Canadian friends, we all need to do our part to help contain the spread of COVID-19. Finally, I want to share with you all an update on our consular operations here at the mission. In accordance with recommendations from both the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Public Health Agency of Canada, we have restricted all routine consular services. But my consular team here in Canada continues to provide emergency services to U.S. citizens. Should you need emergency assistance, our contact information is on the Embassy website. We are here to support you. In closing, now is the time to work together by spending time apart. Let's continue to be good neighbors and through our individual actions, exemplify the true strength of the U.S.-Canada relationship. Thank you.